What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to take a look at my recent shoe pickups and some of my recent clothing pickups. We're going to get straight into it. A pair that's still in the original box. You can tell from the box it's a pair from New Balance. I also got this crew neck from them and two other pieces of clothing. Really, really nice. Big shout out to New Balance. And the shoes I got is a pair of the Fresh Foam BB Volume 2. You know that I absolutely love this shoe. It's incredibly comfortable. I have them in my top five of 2024 so far. Really good traction as well, an insanely loud squeak. And this colorway in particular goes really, really well with the Krunek and also with this kind of rain, windy jacket. Um, they call it like a basketball shooting top and it looks really, really cool in my opinion. I hope you can see it and you can see that the color of the shoes goes really well with them. And then they also sent me a t-shirt, plain, simple white t-shirt with some basketball hoops on there. Also really, really cool in my opinion. Love it. And I love how the shoes match the outfit that they sent me. And I'm actually planning to rock this fit off court with those shoes. They kind of give you some dad vibe, like dad shoe vibes. I don't know if it's just me, but also just like the green outsole kind of just matches the dad shoe. It's a really, really clean looking shoe and extremely, extremely comfortable. That's why they're also great for off-court use. Then for the next pair, I'm going to go to a highly anticipated pair, which is the Anta Kai one. I just got to check for the box because the box really is something else compared to your usual basketball box. There we go. I hope it doesn't reflect too much. You've got so many details on this box. Master your craft these signs that mean a lot to Kyrie Irving. We have, of course, strength, agility, focus, and speed. Numbers, the signs, as I mentioned, also here on this side, just the size tag. Just really, really cool. And when you open it up, it gets even better. It's just not your regular shoe box. You get this kind of plastic overlay. Take it out. Underneath that, you'll find the shoes. Then here's like a little note from Kicks Crew and Kyrie Irving. I hope you can read it and my hand is not shaking too much. Um, essentially, it's just like a thank you letter for joining the journey, for being part of the journey. And now let's get to the shoes. I'll put that away later. I already said that Kicks Crew sent me them. Big shout out to them as well. Really, really cool looking pair. I practiced with them yesterday and today. They felt great on court. Almost no dust pickup, which was a great and pleasant surprise and also so many details on this shoe. Such a dope looking colorway as well, a great first colorway in my opinion, and this shoe just screams Kyrie Irving right in your face, and I love it. Something I noticed is that the midfoot is a little bit tight, not necessarily because of the strap, but just this area right here, also there's an outrigger here, great for lateral stability, but a little bit bad if you have wide, a wide midfoot like me. So what I did is I just skipped a lace loop here, which releases pressure right around here, which is where my foot is really, really wide. And that helped me a lot and helped me deal with the pain of breaking them in. The traction performance, as I mentioned, was great. The cushioning setup, nice impact protection in the heel and low to the ground in the forefoot. What I really, really like about the shoe is how padded they are. Here in the heel, you've got a lot of padding also on the tongue. It's just a really, really comfortable fit. And the support was also very good. Of course, there's a shank plate, only the forefoot flexes, no flex in the midfoot, just how I like it. So overall, I think this could be a really, really good shoe. And they retail for $125. I forgot to say the Fresh Foam BB Volume 2 retails for $140. Moving on to the next shoe, another shoe from Anta. It's the Anta KT9. I actually have the box right here. I don't want to take it down because otherwise I'll throw all the stuff that's up there over. So really dope shoe as well. Again, as I said, I love the detail that they're putting into their signature athletes' shoes, especially the Chinese brands. I know Adidas and Nike also have some details on their shoes. We'll get to some shoes of them later, but it's nothing compared to what Anta is doing. This is the Chinese New Year colorway, and you have, at first glance, a simple white basketball shoe. But if you look closer, there's so much going on. We have this really cool thing here in the back, small pearl, which you can move around. Then we have some fish scales around the Clay Thomas logo. I hope you can see it got, of course, some Chinese signs here, some Chinese language. We've got the KT logo, the 11 on the tongue, and then all around here, the uh, midsole, we have some words that are important to Clay Thompson, some messages, selflessness, team, it says, 
which is really cool and it also always explains what is used in the shoe. You can see a carbon fiber plate and what's also really cool is the insoles. They feature a dragon on the other insole. There's actually even a different one. So really, really cool. And what's also nice is that Anta had these custom made for me because usually they don't make a size 14. And you can see there's still the lines they had from the factory in there. So that's a really, really dope pair. For sure, one of the most special pairs in my collection. And how do they perform? Also very well. More cushioning than the Kyrie's actually. Uh, similar amount of padding, very comfortable as well. Traction performance was also really good. No issues whatsoever. And also great support features, as you can see here as well. Just the forefoot flexes, but it flexes a bit more. So I would say the torsional support is a bit better in the Kai 1, but overall the lockdown feels a bit better on these because just the last lace loop is a little bit higher up. Apart from that, great, great shoe. Now, moving on to another shoe that came in. It's actually a slide. We're going to skip and keep some shoes for the end. It's the from Rigor, the shark slide, as you can tell by the box here. The shark fin here, and here is the slide. Extremely comfortable. I was surprised. They only sent me a size 14 because the bigger sizes were not ready. Usually I have a 14, but they fit a bit big, so I would go maybe down half a size if you need to. They retail for $40, which is pretty cheap for slides, and they are insanely comfortable. And another big advantage that you can take out the cushioning foam so you can easily clean this part without messing with the cushioning, and they are water resistant. They're available at kickzone.com. You can find all the links to all those stores that just mentioned in my link tree, which you can find on my profile and also on all my other socials. For the cushioning setup, it kind of looks like Boost, but it's their own foam. And as I mentioned, very comfortable, a lot of compression, really, really soft. And we also have a shank plate here, which adds a little bit of torsional support, actually works, works pretty well, but I wouldn't recommend playing basketball in them. They're just great for after practice use if you need to treat your feet with something very soft and relaxing. Moving on to basketball shoes again, we have a pair from Way of Wade, or actually from Li Ning, and it's the successor kinda to the Wade Son of Flash, but it's not called Son of Flash anymore. They retail for $100. You can see we still have the Flash design here on the side, and I think it's a really, really great looking shoe. So as I said, they're not the Wade Flash 2. They're actually called Wade Flash Generation Z or Z. And they are also a mix of an off-court and on-court shoe, which is really cool. You can wear them for casual wear, but you can also just keep them on if you're walking by court and want to hoop. Just keep them on. They work well on court as well. I tested them on court just shortly yesterday after I wore the Kai 1, and they felt amazing in my opinion. The support features are not the best, so there's some flex, as you can see, especially like this. They do move a lot, which I don't like personally but they're also extremely light, so that kind of makes up for that. They have a shank plate, it's not carbon fiber, sadly, but the cushioning setup also felt rather soft in the heel, low to the ground in the forefoot, and traction performance was really, really good. So maybe the only thing to watch out for is support if you're a really heavy player or the low to the ground cushioning setup, but apart from that, that's a great budget shoe, also great for outdoors. The rubber compound seems to be very durable, like with most way of weight shoes. Getting to another Way of Weight shoe, we got a really, really great performer, the Way of Weight All City 12 in this amazing orange colorway. They actually didn't look as nice online because the accents here looked gray, but actually they're a hint of baby blue or light blue, and they look really, really beautiful in my opinion, and performance is off the charts. I recently got the All City 12 DNA, the all silver colorway, and I also have this pair right here in this colorway and their awesome performance really great on court they don't really have a weakness apart from that they're not available as much globally trash performance is 10 out of 10 in my opinion also on dusty courts and on outdoor courts in my opinion it's the most versatile shoe on the market right now i believe they retail for 150 us dollars um support features really really good great lockdown you have a shank plate great torsional support they changed the laces from the original pair I just showed you to these. They're not as elastic anymore, but they get the job done as well. And the materials are also really soft. They don't need, oh, I bet, don't need any break-in. And the fit for white feet is actually also quite nice. So overall, I really love the OCD 12. And I can also show off 
the box right here. Also a cool design in my opinion here on the box. Nice looking box. Here we also have the leading logo. And somewhere I just saw Dwayne Wade's signature uh, yeah, here on the bottom. Then for the last pair of this video, we have the Nike Sabrina one. I know you, I know you saw them already in my shoe rotation video I dropped last week, but I just wanted to show them off as they are my recent Nike release or my most recent Nike pickup. And I said the attention to detail in this color, we, we definitely have it with the quark here for the Oregon Ducks where Sabrina went to college. And I'm really, really liking these traction performance is great. Support and lockdown are also definitely there. The cushioning setup is really low to the ground, but you can feel the zoom unit in the forefoot a little bit. So it's a very, very nice low to the ground shoe. I like shoes like that for shooting practices or actually for games. I like to be low to the ground and nice and stable. With that being said, let me know if you want to see more videos like this, where I show off my recent hoop shoe pickups, my recent off-court shoe pickups and some clothing items, if there are any. And leave a like, subscribe to my channel. See you next time.